first I want to introduce Mr. Pimple to this video hello what's up homie and shout out because my hair is a mess like my hair looks a mess so um I hope you can ignore those things and enjoy here's Max making another appearance once again say hello he's like no I just I just want this this is what I want <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel and uh, I know it's been a minute since I made another video. I know it always is minutes <laughs> when I make a video. But um, I was just really trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my channel. I finally come to the conclusion that I'm gonna do what I love with my channel and that is anything regarding to the environment. Um, my major in school down at NIU is actually environmental studies with an emphasis in energy and a minor in sustainable engineering. And this is something that I'm really passionate about and that I kind of just want to like share the knowledge of everything that I've learned and try and inspire as many people as I can to try and move towards sustainability and make the world a better place. I know that there's been a lot of negative talk lately about how you know scientists say we have 12 years before it's all over and there's no turning back after that point and those are serious situations and those are real situations but i also kind of want to focus on the people and companies that are trying to do the right thing you know setting that stepping stone up for people who do want to delve into the world of sustainability this video as you can tell by the title is the eco-friendly school supplies and I thought I'd make this video because I'm going off to school soon and I was thinking about ways that I could be more sustainable as a student and I hope that some of these help you guys out too so let's get started by the way if you guys see me like looking down it's because I'm like looking at my little notes or whatever so yeah there's that um so the first thing on my school supply list is paper. And I was a kid, especially in like grade school and middle school, we always had to buy like those stack of like 150 loose leaf papers. So um, what I recommend as a green alternative for that is finding paper that is 100% recycled. Also, I will try to link the websites to where you can buy some of these products, but that's one kind of risky aspect in the movement towards sustainability is there's not a lot of like customer reviews on these types of products because either not many people know about them or you know that their website isn't as good as advertising or some people don't buy it because they don't have a review and they're scared to buy it because of no review so at some point in time everything that i'm listing off um, anything that I list off, really, I will be buying and trying out, um, unfortunately, because of some <laughs> college financial reasons. I cannot, like, go out and, like, buy this stuff right now, um, but I do my best to try and make the changes that I can with my lifestyle, and that's also another important thing, too. Sorry I'm ranting, but, like... <laughs> You don't have to like make every single one of these changes, especially if something doesn't work for you. Um, don't ever feel pressured to make a dramatic change to your life that you're not ready for or that you're not capable of making. My teacher always tells us do better, not perfect. And that's one thing to keep in mind um, with just everything. So on to the next part, um, if you can't find 100% recycled paper, the next best thing to do would be to find paper that is chemical free and bleach free. Next thing on the list are pencils. The problem with pencils now, wooden pencils, is that they're not made sustainably. Um, there are sustainable forests around. If you could find a brand that makes their pencils from sustainable forests, that is a great thing to do. Um, if not, there are recycled newspaper pencils and bamboo pencils. So the next item on the list are notebooks. So notebooks are very tricky because they have a little spiral thing in the middle of it. And if any of you guys are like me, spiral notebooks does not last for you. 
if I use spiral notebooks, I'll have them for a good month before the cover's torn off, the, the spiral parts come undone, pages are missing, they're torn off, and it's just a mess with me and spiral notebooks. So I try to go for the composition notebooks, and composition notebooks are just regular notebooks that does not have the spiral in them. One downside is to that is it is kind of hard to rip out, at least from my experience. Then again, I just may not know how to rip paper out of notebooks, <laughs> but... That's something that I run into. The next environmentally friendly option for notebooks is recycled notebooks. Now I will link a website down below that has a recycled notebooks. They have a lot of different patterns, colors, all of it. The only problem is that as I mentioned earlier that it has no reviews so it is kind of touchy but like I said again I will be purchasing these sometime soon <laughs> so if you want to just look at it to kind of like see what it is um, I will link that website down below so the next eco-friendly school supply that has a lot of importance to me is recycled printer paper um, this is crucial to college students and high school students as well when we have to print out papers I'm in the process of actually writing my four page final right now and side note my teacher says that it has to be 1.5 space and I just want to know why like I've been doing two point since like forever and now like having to like do four pages at a 1.5 point I'm not like mentally prepared for so that's just my life right now the next eco-friendly material on the list is pens and pens is a tricky one because you could either have the refillable pens which is where you just have the outer shell of the pen the plastic part and you just take out the ink cartridge when you're done and replace it with a new one and i'd say like that's a possibility for someone who's kind of like slowly transitioning into a sustainable mindset um i personally haven't used them but like what do i know something that i recently came across was recycled pens from water bottles and this idea is actually super cool but there's a lot of mixed reviews on it um i saw on amazon some people said it wasn't that comfortable some people said it didn't write well but like i said you can read the reviews yourself and make a decision for yourself and i'll be sure to link it down below so another option for pens they also have bamboo pens which i think is really cool Although it looks like some of the pen, such as the clip part and the tip part, looks like it's made from plastic and the rest of it's made from bamboo, I'd really have to wait to buy the product to actually um, find out. So the next item on the list are erasers. And erasers, I get like what some of you may be thinking. Well, like an eraser is biodegradable or whatever because it just like, you know, erases until there it is no more. And while that is true, it's also what goes into a product. So basically erasers are made from PVC and PVC is a material that isn't really good for the planet. So finding either recycled erasers. So there are like natural erasers out there. Um, I know one of them is by Tombow and um, another like kid friendly erasers. They look like little barn animals are super cute. Um, those are actually an option too if you have kids that you want to make sure they're not putting regular erasers in their mouth or something like that. I don't know. I don't have kids. Um, but it seems like something kids would do. I do work with them. So the next item on the list are crayons. Now crayons are made from a paraffin wax and paraffin wax just like PVC isn't really a sustainable product. So some people have been looking at beeswax crayons and again a lot of mixed reviews about these two personally i don't use crayons anymore but i know when i was younger i liked the skinny crayons the beeswax crayons that i've seen have been kind of like thick um the reviews on it do say that you know it's a good crayon and stuff like that some people say it's packaged poorly but that's your decision to make i'm just giving you the information <laughs> I know this isn't really like a school supply, but I know a big one is plastic bags for snacks and lunches. And I can admit I didn't really consciously realize how much plastic me and my family used for like snacks and storage and stuff like that. And 
I can honestly say recently I have stopped using plastic bags. Um, so when I pack my lunch for work, I put my sandwich in a container, I throw chips in a container, grapes in like another like reusable container, and um, I'm trying to get my mom and my brother to do the same thing as well with their lunches. So hopefully that goes well, but they have actually like reusable snack bags. Um, it looks like a mini lunch bag basically. It's smaller, it's like more compact that you just kind of like fit some snacks in. The next thing is wooden colored pencils. Um, I have seen a lot of wooden colored pencils around, but again, colored pencils isn't something that I use very often. The wood that is processed to make the colored pencils come from sustainable forests, so that's a plus. The last and final item on this list is glue. And I know it's kind of hard to find glue that is not in a plastic packaging or a plastic container, but try to opt for something um, like toxic free glue or a plant-based glue. I've only seen one brand of plant-based glue around and it didn't have that many reviews, but um, I do use glue sometimes for actual like diagram projects that I have to make. So that concludes this video of sustainable school supplies that you can try for this upcoming school year. Um, I really hope that it helped you and, and I hope that it opened your mind a little more to the products that can be sustainable alternatives for something that you use every day and don't even realize the impact that it has on the planet. I just want to throw out a little reminder that what you do does matter. At the end of the day, the individual does have a huge impact on the way we run our world basically literally as well um i know people might say that oh well you know i'm one person me you know reusing my bag isn't going to make a difference someone else is still going to you know use a bag so i might as well just use one too and i do see where you come from don't get me wrong but at the same time we have the power to control what we are given if that makes sense and what we are presented with um if we put all of our money collectively towards investing in bamboo toothbrushes sooner or later plastic toothbrush companies are not going to be as popular and it was the action of those particular individuals who said i am going to make the switch from plastic to plastic free and it was the individuals who made that change you know like we as a consumer have a choice of where we want our money to go and what we want out of our money we literally can change the world <laughs> like it's insane anything is possible we just have to do the research and take the risk everything you do involves a risk you have to take and that part of it being scary is not knowing if it's gonna you know turn out well or not but if you think of so i hope this has at least encouraged you to remember to bring your reusable grocery back to the store but if not it's okay just remember to be kind and hug some trees bye guys so what the fuck you gonna do? I've only seen one blend. I've only seen. I've only.